hello friends in this lecture we will see this broken out view and broken out view uh, we can create uh, this type of section uh, from the 3d view if you want to cut any 3d view that time we will use this broken out view so for that i am you i am browse and i am selecting this cylinder assembly and change this one is to two and click one more view the cylinder assembly click and change it to one is to two and view also like i want this front view no the front view is not properly here so click top and okay so uh, I need to view if I want to create this broken out view for that select a broken out view and cut from the orthographic view click and now I am in sketching so draw a close boundary <coughs> so this side I want to cut and close this and here we have to define the depth how much depth you are going to cut uh, maybe it will cut from the top or from bottom but how much depth you want uh, and i'm selecting as 50 and click over this isometric view okay then it will cut it and click here and we have this shading view and activate the shade and update so that the shading will highlight okay uh, one more time just click and cylinder assembly ok and change the scale and if you want to change the view click here ok or click and change it to shading mode and update and again broken out view I want to break this and this time I am starting with a rectangle because I want to create a close boundary so this is my close boundary and up to this or up to this and close this and the depth I am taking as 55 or and I want to cut this 3d view okay so see this is a broken out view if you will select complete rectangle so it will cut whole the uh, 3d view and i have selected from the upper this portion only so it is cutting the uh, lower portion is not cutting 